Hey guys and gals, Mike Cricket 113 with a vertical video here. Please forgive me, but uh, it's vertical because we're talking vertical hamsticks here from MFJ. Uh, I got a little collection going on here and I uh, wanted to tell you about how cool they are. Uh, let's see here, we got 10 meter, 12 meter, from starting from the left, we got 10 meter, 12 meter, 17 meter. I got two 20 meters and I got the 75 meter uh ham sticks i picked up the 75 and the 17 meter uh this weekend so really digging these uh antennas uh easy to store obviously they come in these nice little bags uh you got your whip and your fiberglass element with the wire uh wrapped around the the uh, you know the the fiberglass for your resonant length and they are tunable uh they are tunable come with a set of instructions come with a uh, allen key to adjust the whip and uh, really enjoying them so far. Uh, had a couple videos this weekend where I was using the 20 meter one. And uh, I showed you the uh, 75 meter one as well. Uh, so if you're, say, in an apartment or and maybe you have a porch or something, I'm thinking, you know, you can get a little vice grip mount, mount mounted to your, uh, your patio uh, railing. I was thinking about that before. Um, mounted your railing, maybe get a little bit of, uh, I don't know, 18 AWG or 20 AWG uh, wire, maybe about 10 to 15 feet as a counterpoise, and uh, work, work radio, work HF out of your apartment. Uh, but also these are good for mobile, obviously. Uh, they're, they have the 3 8 uh, 24 thread on them. Let me get this thing to focus. There we go. And uh, the ones I have currently are all rated for 250 watts. Uh, they come, they come individually for you know they're mono band obviously for 10, 12. I'm missing the 15 here, 17. They do have, uh, they do make the 60 meter, and they do do make the uh, the 30 meter ones as well. Uh, but I'm not doing digital, and I. Well, you know what? Maybe I will get the uh, the 60 meter ones because that makes more sense. Uh, you could do CW and digital and uh, uh, sideband on that. I'm missing the 40 meter and I got two 20 meters and the 75. Just pick that one up. So these are rated for 250 watts. Uh, if you look up the MFJ website, uh, they usually go by like 16, 10, Tango, 10 for the 10 meter, uh, 16, 17, Tango for 17. Uh, so yeah, I'm really digging them. They work really good. I've been using them on my vehicle and then also uh, on the chain link fence in the backyard. So a uh, really cheap way to get on uh, HF uh, and, uh, and to try. You know, vertical antennas are good for uh, DX, uh, low, uh, low angle of radiation. So you know, they may work uh, kind of, you know, the 10 meter and the 12 meter might work pretty good for uh, local communications if you have buddies you want to talk to. Uh, but the but the lower bands here, 17, 20, and uh, 40, and 75, they're going to have a lower angle of uh, radiation, so you'll they'll be great for DX. So I'll put a link down below uh, for the MFJ website so you can check out the antennas uh, for yourself. And then the hamsticks, they also have high power versions uh, for sale as well. Uh, most of these ran into um, inflation now, it's hard to tell, but anywhere between 24, 28 bucks to uh, I believe the 75 meter one I paid uh, $39 for. So, uh, yeah, probably because it's got more uh, wire uh, to make the element uh, electric length, you know. But yeah, really enjoying the MFJ hamsticks. Uh, you know, give them a try. Give them a try. If you want to get on HF and you don't feel like shelling out God knows how much for a uh, screwdriver antenna. So anyway, this is Mike Cricket 113. Have a good one. Keep playing radio.